and then people always they're coming back are you kidding me that's the third time i'm just gonna put my keys back in the ignition and roll my windows up i'm just gonna leave them in the ignition and the door is locked <laughs> Hey there creepy peeps, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome back. If you are returning, yo, what's up? Today is another come with me review and we are gonna go see 47 meters down, uncaged. <laughs> I, I basically just have no feelings on this movie. I'm not not excited to go see it. I'm also not excited. I'm not excited to go see it. You know what I mean? At least from what I can tell though, I haven't seen a trailer for this yet from what I can just like surmise from the summary. It doesn't look like it follows anything having to do with the other characters or anything like that, that I can tell. Still a little bit mad that it's not called 48 meters down because you could still get as many sequels as you want, you know, just 48 meters down, 49 meters down, 50 meters down. But yeah, so I guess let's, let's go see 47 meters down, uncaged. Directed by Johannes Roberts, 47 meters down, uncaged, follows a group of backpackers diving in a ruined underwater city and discover that they have stumbled into the territory of the ocean's deadliest shark species. Few things out of the way. Yes, I changed my shirt and I put my hair up because it's hot. So it's just, it was just too much to keep the hair down. And my shirt was kind of see-through earlier. So I didn't want to go out and about, you know, showing everybody the goods, you know? So I just came out of 47 meters down, uncaged. I what the fuck is happening? Okay. It's like, I'm like, I feel like I'm being circled by sharks, but it's just cars. This is blowing my mind right now. I drive out to the corner of the parking lot. What are they doing? Sorry, I'm just gonna watch for a second because they like circled my car. They're circling my car again. So I kind of just want to make sure. I mean, it's a couple. It looks like an older couple. So I don't know if they just don't know what they're doing. You're in the corner of the parking lot. What, where do you think you're going? Go straight. That's how you get out. Good, okay. Um, I always drive to the corner of the parking lot so that <laughs> I don't get any weird looks and I can be as loud as whatever and people won't stare at me and then people always, they're coming back. Are you kidding me? That's the third time. I'm just going to put my keys back in the ignition and roll my windows up. I'm just going to leave them in the ignition and the door is locked. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. I am legit in the corner of the parking lot and this car over here is the one that circled me three times. I'm like kind of like in the middle. There's like a, there's like a way to drive through in front of me and behind me and they drove around me three times now and now they're parked over there in that corner. I don't know if they're just trying to find a spot to make out or something, but I'll just let them know if they're watching me that I have a camera and that I put it on them. <laughs> so <laughs> I've seen too many found footage horror movies. You're going to be on film. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to the shark movie. I am not going to lie. I actually liked it. I actually, I went back to check and see what I rated the first one as I was walking out of the theater because my initial impression was, oh, I like that better than the first one. And I actually rated 47 meters down a four out of five. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that review. I'm not saying, I didn't watch it again since then. I'm not saying my review is wrong, but I'm surprised that I liked it that much because I really did actually like the sequel. I liked the, I feel like the, the realism I was okay with which is usually, I know I've talked about this before, that's usually the big problem I have with just animal attack movies in general. Because most of the time you have to suspend your disbelief and sometimes these movies try and pass off as being realistic when in reality it's kind of far-fetched to the point where I'm kind of like, why don't you just make them like radioactive sharks or something and then we can suspend all disbelief. But this one, 
actually kind of made sense, I guess, at least to like my non-marine biologist brain. All I'll say about the movie is, and I mean, it's in the summary that they're in a cave system and I'm sure it's in the trailer as well because it's like the bulk of the movie. So the sharks that they're kind of contending with are sharks that have lived in this cave system for like their entire lives. So they're like, I guess you could call them like albino sharks or something like they don't, they can't see and they rely on their hearing, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know how sharks hear. Do they have ears? I'm dumb. So they're not just like your average great white sharks where I would kind of call BS on them legitimately hunting humans. But since these girls are swimming around in this cave system and they're constantly running into these sharks and then the sharks are encountering them and then they're like, whoa, what's that? Obviously they're going to attack. So it made sense. Did all of that make sense? Clearly I'm not a scientist, I do not sound like one. And of course there's like that feeling, not only that feeling of like holding your breath, I can't be the only one that whenever you're watching a movie that is underwater or most of it is underwater or people are swimming a lot, you hold, you kind of instinctively hold your breath. <laughs> and as you're in a cave system, you feel a little bit claustrophobic. So like the atmosphere was really good. I felt like the music was also really good. At points it almost, I, I was almost convinced it was organ music. I don't think it was, <laughs> but the chords sounded like something you would hear like an organist play. I don't know if that makes sense. Like your like traditional horror like organ chord. I'm clearly not a music major either. The sharks, mm hmm looked all right. I feel like there were moments where the CGI stuck out, not in a great way. Um, do, can it stick out in a good way? I don't know. Like, <laughs> if you notice it, is that kind of like not the point of CGI? So there was sometimes more than others where it stuck out. I feel like I probably had that problem with the first one as well. Same thing with a lot of shark movies, especially nowadays when they're relying on CGI more than like an animatronic shark. I don't personally know, I didn't look into it if they actually used animatronics at all. I know just a lot of CGI, so if there were some animatronics, like, you know, puppet sharks, it did its job and it looked good and I didn't notice, so <laughs> that's good, I guess. I also liked how and you guys are gonna see it next week, but I was, I'm actually making a video about horror movie friendships, like friendships within horror movies. And I talked about in the video how there's not really any good female friendships that aren't toxic, where the friendship is like in the forefront of the movie, like it's part of the plot, not like an afterthought. <laughs> I like literally just filmed that video today and then I went to go see this movie and I was like, oh, well this would have been like a kind of nice example. <laughs> Cause it's like a group of girls that like high school age girls, I think they're supposed to be high school, go diving in this cave system, of course, when they're not supposed to be, nobody knows they're down there, which you think people would learn by now. Tell people where you're going. Cause then when bad stuff happens to you, you know, somebody's gonna come look for you. Duh, Safety Maven was just, pissed off beyond belief that those girls even thought to do that without telling anyone. The last thing I'll say on it before we wrap it up is I did like it. It's like The Descent, but with sharks. So, and I love The Descent. So I actually quite like this. Overall, surprisingly good going in with no expectations. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, even though <laughs> I came out thinking that I liked this more, I thought I rated 47 meters down lower, like a three out of five, but I guess I didn't. Um, so I guess I'm gonna kind of retract that and I'm gonna also give the sequel, 47 meters down in cage, I'm also gonna give it a four out of five. So it is Thursday night, so just keep that in mind as I'm saying these ratings. Um, it's most likely gonna change over the weekend one way or the other, but on IMDb currently it has a 6.5 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 57% critic score, that's out of 28 reviews, and then there's no audience uh, rating available yet. And then on Letterboxd, it has a 3.2 out of five, and it looks like out of the people I follow, only two of y'all have seen it, or, Three, sorry, three of y'all have seen it, two of y'all 
have rated it and each of them gave it a three. You're never gonna see that. You can't see it because of the lighting and stuff, but they both, Matt and Ari, gave it a three out of five also. I imagine more of you guys are gonna see it over the weekend, so as you do, if you wanna come back and let me know what you thought about it, or if you've already seen it as you're watching this, pop a comment down there and let me know what you thought about it. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up for me having creepy people around me. If you're new here, why don't you subscribe? Become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it don't always work. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye. This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed on the left hand side of the screen. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that is in the description of this video. Um, no pressure, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!